the newest and most advanced variant of the F-16 to date, the Block 7072, completed its maiden flight earlier this year at Lockheed Martin's facility in Greenville in South Carolina. This F-16 Block 70 is a two-seater aircraft, the first of 16 aircraft destined for the Royal Bahrain Air Force. For its first flight on January 24, 2023, the aircraft was crewed by Lockheed Martin test pilots Dwayne Pro Opella and Manessa Siren Balzizer. The 50-minute flight was for basic handling of the aircraft and allowed the flight crew to perform a series of airworthiness checks, including the engine, flight controls and fuel system. Everything that made the F-16 groundbreaking when it first flew on February 2, 1974, remains impressive even by today's standards. The F-16 was the best in terms of agility and kinematic performance, and the type is still considered a dogfighter in visual range. Also capable of a wide range of air-to-ground suppression capabilities against enemy air defenses SEAD, and even beyond visual range BVR, capabilities since then. The basic engine-slash-airframe combination is still very competitive, and it is no surprise that the Fighting Falcon is still in production today and its manufacturers, a number of other entities, make no effort to provide updated avionics, weapon systems, defensive aids and sensors. It is also not surprising that a top priority is replacing the F-16's mechanical scanning radar with a modern active electronically scanning array AESA, radar. ESA almost always represents a major improvement in capability compared to M-Scan radar, and can offer increased capability over generations. ESA radar offers great benefits in terms of speed, range and accuracy of target acquisition, detecting them at longer distances and generating tracks with higher precision. resulting in earlier and more accurate engagement. Advanced S's, such as the IN-APG-83 Scalable Agile Beam Radar SABR, can also be used for non-cooperative target recognition NCTR. Identifies and categorizes targets based on their radar signature alone, matching radar return signatures to specific aircraft types based on the shape and even number of fan blades on the target engine. The increased power and precision of the IN-APG-83 enhances its synthetic aperture mapping capabilities, resulting in higher resolution images. Some ESA radars also have built-in electronic protection and attack capabilities. Uses highly focused beams of electromagnetic energy to non-kinetically disrupt or even damage electronic devices onboard enemy aircraft, missiles, and other systems. The Block 7072 represents Lockheed Martin's best effort to build the best F-16 capable of meeting the challenges of the 21st century battle space. And also offers much of the capabilities of the 5th generation F-35 at a much lower cost. Interestingly, the newly created Block 7072 is actually a new version of the upgraded configuration of the F-16 volts, originally developed for the Republic of China Air Force (ROCAF), and not the other way around. The F-16 is the most widely operated fighter aircraft today, with 2,180 single-seat variants and 622-seat trainers flying with 25 countries. This makes this type an obvious target for upgrade providers. The F-16E-F Block 60 for the United Arab Emirates demonstrates what an F-16 looks like. 
with the N-APG-80S a radar and advanced avionics, however the development of this variant has been paid for by the United Arab Emirates and it is not available to other operators. Likewise with the Japanese Mitsubishi F2, a design based on the F-16 with a Japanese ESA radar. Although these two aircraft proved very useful in service, it would be a long time before another ESA-equipped F-16 variant appeared. Development of a new ESA-equipped F-16 variant began after the Obama administration halted Taiwan's efforts to acquire 66 Block 5052 F-16C-Ds in 2006. This acquisition was cancelled due to pressure from the People's Republic of China. This upgrade was initially intended to replace the current MMC with the latest model available and to add several other systems to bring Taiwan's Block 20 to a standard equivalent to the latest Block 5052 models. But the upgrades became increasingly ambitious and soon represented a much more advanced standard than the Block 5052 configuration ever implemented in mainland China. This new configuration was given a non-consecutive V suffix, which was the end of the F-16's unofficial name Viper. Most importantly, it was decided that these F-16 volts upgrades would include the installation of an ESA radar, something that was then only installed on the UAE's F-16E-F Block 60 Desert Falcons.